If you like what you see, if I can please request you to subscribe to my channel. So what's the difference between solvency and liquidity? Liquidity and solvency are both connected to the ability of an organization to pay down its debts. When you think about liquidity, you should think about short-term obligations. On the other hand, when you think about solvency, you should think about long-term obligations. So what about liquidity? When thinking about liquidity, it's basically thinking about how a business would be able to pay its short-term liabilities on time. When a business has a large number of current assets, like stocks or bonds, or just simply having a lot of cash, you can think it about it as having good liquidity. But what about solvency? A business remains solvent as long as its assets are greater than its liabilities. You can basically consider solvency in the context of the long-term financial position of the business. It's really about whether a business will be able to sustain itself in the long run. But what about the science aspect of this? Are there any metrics that we can think about? Well, absolutely. When thinking about solvency, you should think about the interest coverage ratio, which is simply the ratio of the earnings before interest and taxes to the interest payments. A higher ratio is more beneficial. There are several other ratios, the fixed assets to net worth ratio. But each ratio has to be used for a specific circumstance and situation. On the other hand, when thinking about liquidity, its ratios like the current ratio or quick ratio, which basically measure the current assets to current liabilities. Current assets comprise cash, inventory, accounts receivable, basically things that can turn into cash in less than a year. Current liabilities include accounts payable, wages, taxes payable, and the current portion of long-term debts. But do they have an impact on each other? Absolutely. If the solvency is high, generally it's a matter of time before the business will obtain liquidity. On the other hand, if liquidity is high, that does not mean that a business will remain solvent. Insolvency is a major problem in which there may need to be radical restructuring of a company's operations. On the other hand, a liquidity crunch can be solved if a company pledges some of its assets to raise funds from the market. A liquidity crisis generally can be fixed more easily. But never say never. There can be circumstances when the two overlap. A bank can sell assets on a loss to raise cash to pay immediate bills, which can soon turn into a solvency crisis. At the end of the day, both are equally important. A well-managed company should be liquid and solvent. So my question for the day based on related concepts, does inflation favor borrowers or lenders?